All right, if you're watching this video, it's because, and you should have at least tried this on your own first, doing the Fix Me app, you, had, you were struggling to find all the things that could be fixed. So we're going to go through this, and we're going to see um, if we can fix all the pieces now that you know how to use all the little debugging tools. So let's make Grace Hopper proud, and let's make some corrections here. So if we look at our viewer page or our designer page, there's not much we're going to do here. There's nothing we can really change or we need to change. Everything is in the blocks. So we want to look for some of the easy, low-hanging fruit kind of things. For example, I see here for the take picture, um, if I look at these errors or warnings, well, here's one. It's not connected to anything. Here in the comment, it says that for take picture, the event is triggered when the take picture button is clicked. The program should take a picture using the camera component. Well, I see a camera component in take picture here. Just need to click that in. Over here, for the after picture, what's going to happen is we're going to change that background that we have right now that just looks like a cell. We're going to change it to a picture that's taken, which we'll do in a little while. That should drop into there. Now you can see down here we don't have any warnings. The other thing I see that's kind of not correct is the problem here of this grayed out clear for the clear button. We want to clear the canvas when we're done drawing, but we first have to right click on this and enable the block. Now it works. Now the other ones that should look really easy, let's think about this. This isn't that hard to think about. We need a green button when we click it. So what paint color do we have attached here? Yellow. Just click on that and change it to any shade green. Yellow button should be pretty obvious that we know we need to change this to yellow. And the blue button, well, let's change that red to a shade of blue. Don't be sad, just be glad that you found the blue color. Now I'm going to check, since I didn't incrementally check already, I'm going to check that these things are working now the way it's supposed to. So if you remember, the description for this, and we'll, we'll go to our tablet now, <coughs> the description for this said that the color and the label of the cells uh, will work with the fingertip. Well, now we have the colors right. Uh, we have to be able to draw filled in circles. Let's see if we can have filled in circles. Um, and then adjust the size of the circle. Well, that's on the uh, slider here, which is pretty small. There's just nothing we can do about that. Uh, choose the colors. I think we did that. Clear the canvas and take the picture. So let's drag our finger and see how it looks when we work with yellow. Okay, that doesn't look normal when you make those weird lines. So we still got to fix that. Blue, I bet, does the same thing. Yep. Green, same thing. Yep, that doesn't work. Can we clear it? Okay, at least we know that works. Now if we tap with these colors, we should make filled in circles. So if I tap green, that doesn't look right. If I tap blue, that doesn't look right. And if I tap yellow, that doesn't look right either. We have a circle, but it's not filled in. So I'm going to clear that. And we're going to go back to our canvas. So, the, the or sorry, back to the blocks. So here, let's look at when we touch the canvas. So this is when we make the dots. Well, here's an issue I see. I see center X says get Y. Why would I have X get Y? I want X to get X. Y stays the same. And right now it's saying, do you want it to fill? It says false, which means no. So we want to change that to true. Now if I click off to save it, let's do those dots again. Dot for yellow, dot for blue, dot for green. That's working. But we also have to be able to slide the slider to the left and get small green small blue oops small yellow all right so that's working the only thing now we have to fix is we have to fix the drawing when i move the finger around they should be able to draw that color so that's going to go down here to this one where it says dragged so if i look here it looks like down on the bottom i have x2 it's going to go to the current x and it's going to go to the current y so we want it to start from the previous and go to where your finger is at now. Those look right, but what you notice up here is these are backwards. So X needs to be previous X and Y needs to be previous Y. 
I'm going to click off to save it. Now when we test it with yellow, you can see that it's drawing a yellow line. Blue, drawing a blue line. And green, drawing a green line. So now everything there is working fine. The only thing we now have to test is the take picture. Okay, so I'm going to click take picture. And I'm going to take a picture with my tablet. And then we are going to look at it. I'm going to hit OK on my screen. And there's a wonderful picture of me as I'm doing this video. So I can change different things up. I'm going to make the dot size as big as I can. We're going to give myself nice big blue eyes. And the mouth will fill it in with green. And the beard would look much better if it was yellow. So I'll color that in. Okay. Just like the animal cell, when I'm done, I want to hit clear, and I want the tablet to be back to the way it was. The only problem is when I hit clear, it's just that ugly face. So we still need to find a way to clear this, and this wasn't in the programming. This is just us taking it to the next level. So let's go to that clear button. And in the clear button, we want to set the canvas back to its original background image, which was down here in the media. It's the animal cell picture. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to set canvas background image. We're going to click on that, and we're going to Control-C, Control-V. And we're going to drag that up into the clear button. Now, we don't want to clear the canvas by taking the background image that we took and put the image in there. We already have that. It's just going to keep that picture, that scary picture of this. So we're going to take the image part, and we're going to drop that. But what we are going to do is we're going to go to the text box, and we're going to grab an empty text box. Now, if we just want an empty text box, let me show what happens when we clear the image. It goes to a white page. Why is that? Well, what do we have in the text? Nothing, right? So all it's going to show me is nothing. What we want to do is we want to put this title in there because that's the animal cell. Now, the tricky thing with this is you have to type everything exactly the way it is. So I see a capital AC, and I see the number 1. And I see an underscore, and I see six, I see an underscore, and I see a capital A, and the word animal, but the rest of it is all lowercase, and a capital C for cell, dot PNG. Capitals have to be right, punctuation has to be right, underscores have to be in the right spot. Now if I click off to save it, and I click clear, now it brings back what we want. So that's taking it to the level of making sure everything works exactly how you want it to. So now you're able to see how to fix things and use the different tools that we talked about in our lesson about cleaning up, collapsing, using the, uh, using the uh, comments up here, um, disabling and re-abling things. That's all the stuff that we talked about. Um, and remember, as we've talked about in the past too, if these things are big and you want to get them out of the way, you can collapse it or double click on it to bring it back or double click, click to collapse. If this looks like something you may use sometime later or the drag button may be used something, sometime later, remember you can always drag that into your backpack, in the backpack, and keep it in there for next time. And that will just keep uh, saving good code that you're going to use over and over. And that was it for this project. So now you're learning how to do some things. The next one's going to get even more challenging as you start to build the Germ Guide app, which is really setting the standard for what you know before you do your final project for this first lesson and show me what you did. Good job. We'll, uh, we'll talk to you next time.